Tonight, Governor Ron DeSantis is vowing to vigorously scrutinize the state's embattled guardianship program. It comes after a local guardian was accused of ordering do not resuscitate orders for more than 100 people without the consent of the court or their family members. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky first reported on this story two weeks ago. She joins us now live in the newsroom. And Adriana, you personally asked the governor what he plans to do to keep something like this from happening again. Yeah, I did, and I pressed him if any criminal charges could be filed since one Central Florida man died after this guardian refused to reverse the DNR order she placed on him, even though a state investigation revealed he told her and his family he did not want it. The criminal aspect of this, to me, is definitely something that needs to be looked at um, and holding people accountable when they do things like that, um, you know, to me sends a very strong signal that that was unacceptable conduct. Governor Ron DeSantis did not hold back about his worries about the state's guardian program, especially after the head of the state agency tasked with overseeing it up and quit last week with a one sentence resignation letter. The resignation of Carol Berkowitz came just one day after a judge ordered the removal and reversal of 98 DNR orders placed by professional guardian Rebecca Furley. And just days after state investigators revealed it resulted in one man's death. We were obviously concerned with some of the reports. The Secretary Purdom is, uh, is pursuing it, and I told them to pursue it uh, vigorously. Um, this one individual, you know, there may be some serious legal consequences, and I think that that's appropriate. The governor says he has asked all state agencies potentially involved in this case to take the next six months to thoroughly investigate what happened and what needs to change. The governor says he started getting reports on Rebecca Furley earlier this month. But families we've talked to say they've been complaining to the state about Rebecca Furley for years. Governor DeSantis vows he will be holding someone accountable and says there will be consequences. We'll take whatever action we need to. And as we look at this guardianship program, you know, if there needs to be legislative changes, you know, those, make, those could be something that we would propose uh, for the next legislative sessions. And I will have more on the hearings that are taking place all across the state reviewing Rebecca Furley's guardianship cases in several counties. In fact, she had one today in Hillsborough County. See you at 6. Adriana, thank you.